Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing an early build for the MLB showdown slate tonight uh, between uh, the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is, I think, what we're reduced to now is uh, showdown slates. I don't know if they'll have any more two gamers, but actually they might. Um, so again, uh, I'm going to start playing these again for no other reason than to get used to, you know, these the. the showdown slates in general you know so i do like to play nfl i do like to play um uh, the other sports as well sometimes and i'm just learning to get better and baseball's hard because of the relief pitchers um it, it's just harder than the other sports because of that aspect but yet still we're trying to learn how to build lineups we're trying to learn how to avoid dupes just mm -hmm. like anything else so what we're going to do is we're going to pull up saber sim and see what we can kind of dream up here um, we're going to use the Sabres in projections today instead of the true DFS ones because I haven't really tightened them up yet today. Um, and the relief pitchers are just so, so fishy with respect to how tight the projections are. But one thing I am going to do is just for, just for no, just for, for fun, we're just going to change all of the, the relief pitchers to like, the same around their number. In other words, if it's close, we're just going to round it because I really don't want to preference one over the other just because they have like a 0.1% edge in projection. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So we're just going to round up or round down just the whole number. Uh, can't think of any other way to handle this. So without just Xing them out, which is, might actually not be a terrible idea either. But we'll just put these here and uh, what do we do with these half pointers? Either X them or, yeah, let's, let's, we'll, we'll round them all up actually. All right. So everybody's at one, two, and we'll leave the ownerships where they are and we'll just kind of roll like that. Okay. So we already made a couple of lineup changes so we could just fire these things. And let me just kind of remind everybody what we're playing. We're playing the relay throw. And we're also going to be playing the perfect game, the relay throw of the lottery. We're going to play 30 lineups in that. And uh, the perfect game, just one. But so I put the, the contest size into the uh, contest sim settings over here for both. I think I did for both. Yeah, and for perfect game as well. So we can, we can mess around here. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to build you know, 30 lineups just, just plain, okay? We'll build, well, we're building a pool of 2,000. I guess you could do 5,000, but I don't think there's a need. We'll just see. Let's, um, the other thing I want to pull up is this GeoMean spreadsheet. Uh, I already entered the number of entries in here. Uh, just a little bit of dupe medication, just to make sure I'm not, you know, I'm not duping stuff. You probably won't in baseball just because you have 20 guys, you know, 20 spots to choose from. Uh, I think. But we'll see. I would like to have a geo mean of 21.6 or lower. So we are going to screen for that once these uh, get built. So uh, we're not even going to look at this. Actually, we could look at it uh, specifically to see what kind of relief pitcher exposure we're getting. And unfortunately, we're getting a lot. It's just a little bit annoying. Any in the captain? Again, we didn't do a contest sim yet. So. Um, no, at least we're getting no relief pitchers in the captain, which is always nice to see. And let's run a contest sim. And what we're doing is is comparing the lineups to the exact, well, not the exact contest, but the representation of the contest that we're playing. Uh, we, that's why we put in the number of play, the number of entries, how much for first, and the idea, <laughs> the idea in theory is that these lineups are being specifically tailored to play off of the ownerships of those of those uh, fields. Um, okay, so we ran the contest sims, and now what we're going to do is we're going to sort these by the particular contest. So first one, relay throw. We're going to sort this by risk-adjusted ROI and see what we come up with here. And the first thing I will note, well, first thing I see, is that you are spread out in captain, and there are no relief pitchers. That's good. And oh my, I see 26 players in the utility. Uh oh, let's see. That means you have at least six relief pitchers. Uh, okay, so 
The good thing is, is I've heard of a couple of the guys that I'm getting exposure to. So the Ginkle I've heard of at least, and how much am I getting of him? 20%? Yikes. And then Kimbrel, I've heard of him. He's the closer, right? So 16% of him. And then Hoffman getting a little bit of that, like two lineups. Matt, Matt Apply, Ryan Thompson, Seawall. So this is a this is a good way to get uh, to get different. That's for sure. Um, the other thing to note, by the way, is these these captain ownerships seem awfully low. Some of them, uh, well, actually, these are just regular ownerships, right? They, they don't. I don't think this is a reflection of what they are. Oh no, there's utility. So one, so same way. So one percent own Ketel Marte here. Let's find Ketel Marte somewhere else. To give me an example. Um, is there? Do I have no Ketel Marte in the flex? That's pretty funny. Oh, I do. What are we talking about? And okay, so you have nine percent in the in the flex and 1% in the cap. I, I, that seems low. Um, and we'll look at that a little later because he, here's the thing that you have to remember with these, all these contest sim tools, and they're really, they're really neat. I don't want to go so far as say garbage in, garbage out, but sort of, you know, like if, if you're putting in just terrible ownership projections, then what's, what it's going to do, it's going to do what it does. In other words, it's, there's going to be nothing wrong with the contest sim algorithm, if that's the best way to describe it. It's going to run perfectly, but it's going to show up with lineups that are just not an actual reflection of what of, of, of what you want to play. You know, because if, if your ownership projections are, are, are unpure, then the whole thing is just kind of thrown off. So more important, of course, than the, than the point projections, like the point projections, whatever, especially in baseball. I mean, they can be off by a little bit, but 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 if your ownership projections are off by too much, I mean, it, it not only throws it, it throws off your whole portfolio. Okay, so it's it's something to really keep in mind. I mean, that, that's why I really do like using the true DFS projections, uh, the ownership projections. But the problem is, <laughs> is with with when you when you run the contest sims. The contest sims for Saber Sim uses its own ownership projections to predict what the field is going to do. So what you need to do if you don't trust the Saber Sim projections, and I'm not saying don't trust them, but if you don't, then what you're going to have to do if you replace them with your own is, is run your lineups against your own lineup, sort of, is run your lineups against your, your own build. Uh, in your contest sim settings. So like right here, like for example, um, relay throw, like if you didn't like the Saber SIP ownership projections, you could run it against like this actual build, like the 5,000 lineups you built here. And I'll, I'll let, let's see the difference. Okay, so we've run them now against the Saber SIM ownership projections. And you're getting just for you know, for just, just to compare a second. Highest owned would see utility 40%, Marsh, Thomas, Kelly. How, how do we judge this? Well, in the captain, Nola, Kelly, Walker, Carol, like that. Let's do let's do this again. Let's do this, but instead of running it against Saber Sim ownership, we will run it against um build one meaning we're going to run it against like the 5,000 lineups we built without making any adjustments. Now it's not, um, it's still a Saber Sim or Saber score type lineup. So it's not as if we're playing it against the medians. Um, but let's see the difference. Uh, this, and we're going to go come back to this. Relay throw, RARI. So the, di well, the difference that I see when you run it against the build as opposed to against Saber Sim ownership, is your captains become much more condensed. Hmm. I'm trying to wonder why that would be. 
And the other thing is that there's a random Brandon Marsh in here. It's 85% NOAA, 10% Kelly, 3% Marsh, where if you ran it against Saber Sim ownership, it would be much more spread out. And likewise, in the utility, still getting a man, man, Brandon Marsh is really highly owned in our builds here. Let's see how many what the re, what the relief pitcher exposure is with this build. So Matt apply would be twenty percent, Hoffman fifteen percent, Kimbrel thirteen. So the real the 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 relief pitcher exposure is no different. What's most different is the captain. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, is the captain concentration. All right. Next thing I want to do before I choose which of these builds to run it against, um, sort of inclined to trust the Saber Sim projections for now. I can always change this, right? It's either the Saber Sim ownership projections or the actual ownership of the build that I made. I have to think, well, this is a mind F, isn't it? I don't know. I really don't know which one I'm supposed to do here. But the first thing I want to do is I want I want to sort these by geo mean. In other words, I want to make sure, or let's see if 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 I filter this by geo mean 21.6, as I mentioned earlier, that we get some lineups. Let's let's see what this looks like just for the hell of it. Show lineups with now again. I've already pre done this work less than 21.6. So let's see what this does here. Yeah, so that's no problem. Um, but it's, it's interesting, interesting to note that you are getting multiple relievers. In these lineups. Um, so I, I guess proceed at your own risk as far as that goes. So this one we have, but not all of them, but some of them we get multiple relievers. You gotta be, I mean, you gotta be dead on perfect to get two relievers to not only get in, but to get there. Um, that's that's real tough. That's real tough. Let me see how it changed the. Now I'll get 30% Mantiply. I mean, that's rough. That's what I was going to tell you. Captain here. Whatever. Um, how about we, how about we take the filter off and see if that looks any better? I mean, it's certainly going to look better because you don't have two relievers in there, but you probably have you probably have some dupes in here. Hoffman, so, so th that's the real difference. Actually, there are a couple with the with double relievers in this in this batch too. My metric seventy six geot. So these are twenty three. It's not that bad. 28, 26, 25. So like just to just to compare, like if you put in, you might only get you might get two dupes if you have 25. It's just not terrible. We trade maybe a dupe for not having multiple relievers in all these lineups. I, I think it's probably worth it. So the other thing I want to do is see if I, can I get away with min uniques too? Yeah, I could do that. Because you could shuffle in the flex, right? Okay, so that I think this is what we're gonna go, we're gonna roll with. So we're going to have the, the, the bill that compares to our to build one. We're gonna be very 
concentrated in the captain. You know, one of these two pitchers honestly has to, you know, has to go off. Specifically, Nola. Like Nola's really got to have a good game. That's fine. Gives us more combinations for the rest of it. So we'll save these to the contest for now. Put these in the relay throw. Um, and then we'll go to the perfect game. which is, this one's kind of interesting. In the perfect game, we're not, oh, we are getting NOLA. Basically a big old NOLA, NOLA <laughs> onslaught with, with a little, one little Perdomo in the nine hole. Pretty fun. Um, okay, let's uh, put that in. Oh, I didn't put it. I didn't play the three max. Okay. Let's download these. And then we'll upload these. So these are the struggles as I try to figure out the best way to make use of all these different tools and these different settings, because don't let anybody tell you otherwise. This is not settled. In other words, nobody's really sure how to use these things. Um, including me. And probably including the people that created them. Okay, that will do it. Uh, good luck, everybody, tonight. And tomorrow, we will do more of this stuff. We might even take an early look at the showdown slate for Thursday for the football. And we'll have a hockey slate to go over. We'll do some... We'll do some more golf, maybe an early look at the NFL.